you're taking the decision, you will experience few things. That few things that you're experiencing here will keep you in this stuck state or a conflict. Now, I want you to think about it before I say anything, and I want you to put it in the chat box. What are those things now? Now you have seen the box inside, the box outside. And you have taken the decision that, okay, I will allow the inside box to come up so I can create another one, or I'll get rid of the outer box, or I'll allow both of them to coexist. But for that to happen, for you to take the decision and for you to make a choice and for you to act on it, what will keep you stuck? Or what will you think or what do you think you are experiencing? Thank you. So these, whatever is going on in your mind, please do share because this is opportunity for your mind to go and see that more than yeah, thank you. Thank you. Now, these emotions that are keeping you in this space between these decisions, they can be looking at people around you and fearing how will they do without you or looking at your employer and thinking that how will I perform here or not taking those opportunities that are coming your way. Those emotions that you experience are two things. They keep you in this stuck state or the conflict. This stuck state or a conflict, as long as the mind is not taking a decision and making a choice, there is a very um, beautiful law that is whatever you are inside, you will manifest it outside. Whatever you are inside, you will manifest it outside. So if you're wobbling in your head, though you're doing everything the best that you think you are doing, nothing will come to fruition because you didn't take the decision, you didn't make the choice and you're not acting on it. So taking a decision is an experience that you have to experience. Otherwise, you can be busy doing many things and nothing will come to fruition. You can be putting your best in your workplaces, in your business, and nothing will be coming to fruition because of this conflict, the wobbling in your mind. The wobble between entertaining the inside, the box inside, or entertaining the box outside. And by limiting or inhibiting this growth, I was referring to the car that started way back that is there, but it will not come in front of you because you don't want to see it. It's there. That car has started the journey. That box inside is full of energy, brimming, but you will never allow that to come right in front of you because you're wobbling. Because you are stuck. You are in this conflict. However, today my message is change is the only constant. Change is the only constant, be it your body, be it relationships, be it mind, be it situations, be it your thoughts. Now, how many of you are actually happy and proud that you do not think the same way as you used to think when you're in your young age or 30s or whenever that was. You're all happy that you don't think the same way, right? But then why are we sad when situations change and they are not the same as they were? What's the conflict? Step back and I just want you to explore this. You're very happy that you don't think like the same person who used to be. You're not that egoistic or you're not that arrogant or you're not so immature and you're happy and proud about it. I want you to think about it. And is it your attachment to that outside box that you created long ago? Is it that you're not seeing it? My thoughts have changed. I have changed. But I'm hanging on 
to my Barbie doll or the toy car. So right now, I want you to step back, all of us collectively step back. And I want you to bring your mind, your body, your energy, your personal life, your work life and your community life. I want you to bring all of them into alignment. Step back. You're happy with the evolution of your thought. You're happy with the changes that happened in your life and you're in a better place than it was earlier. And bring that same happiness to the situations around you. And respect that same change in others too, even if it's not meeting your outer box. Either the design must have changed or the box itself must have changed or the structure must have changed. Respect the change in you and respect the change in others and then just bring your awareness to these four fears of authority, responsibility, success and failure. And move yourself out of that survival mode of acting on the edge of clinging to the past while you are very advanced in your thoughts. Bring your awareness to it. And at this level of thought, awareness is the release. If your mind sees it, you can hold it in your hand. So give every opportunity for you to see it. You are the mind. Give yourself that opportunity to see it. If you see it, you will hold it. And if you could see it, show me your hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone, for today. So if anyone wants to talk to me or have a chat with me, please feel free. I have a few spaces in the last week of October. If you want to book in, yeah, Andy has put the calendar in there. So if anybody wants to book a time with me and if we didn't meet each other, please feel free. So it's again last week of October. And if you're booking, please ensure you show up because there's so many people out there. All right. So that's all from me for today. All right. Thank you, everyone. I love you. And thank you for uh, spending your time with me here. Look forward to see you next month. Thank you. Bye-bye. <music>